far as tips, um, I would say practice. You know, I think a lot of the videos I did in the beginning were pre-recorded. Sometimes I'd just do a bunch of practice runs before I'd actually publish something. So you can start with pre-recording video, even having someone edit that into a more cohesive piece. That's actually As, how I started too. Yeah. Doing like the show because I was like a little bit nervous, like what if I mess up? Like, and my first few, like I did one with Jan uh, Mertleek and like Mark Pottle of West Coast Roadworks, and that's mm -hmm. what we did is we recorded it like not live, yeah. and it was just like okay, well like if something happens, like if the chair breaks and I'm in it, I'm not going to be like a viral sensation. Yeah. <laughs> but then like once I got used to that process, I was like okay. I'm ready we're gonna we're gonna go to Facebook live now mm -hmm. <laughs> and the other thing I do as well is put some structure around it so if you're going to be doing a video whether it's live or not or even if you're going to be speaking publicly I think it helps to outline what you're going to say without writing everything <laughs> so don't script because yep. then you read and then you sound like a robot but what you should do is like, okay, what's my main message or, you know, what's the title? And then what are one to three points that I want to make within that? And you can tell a story or share stats. You can add bits and pieces in it, but keep it really focused. Yep. And as far as the preparation for that, I often find I'll use symbols. So rather than write stuff out, I'll use a symbol that'll quickly jog my memory about what I'm trying to say. And that way you can be natural and engaging, yep. but you're still going to remember what you're trying to put out there. It's so funny because you guys, like, you guys can't